Hi, everybody. So I'm here to speak about oracles and um, you know, the change that they're making in our industry. The thing that I think people need to understand about oracles is that they are a form of creating cryptographically guaranteed truth. So in some of the talks uh, you heard about today and even the previous one, you might have seen that there needs to be um, a certain truth about different actors. And actually, the, the notion of truth is, is very important in deterministic systems generally. So what oracles do is they create cryptographically guaranteed truth to solve um, very specific problems. They don't necessarily result in um, creating block space or processing payment transactions, but they do inject um, a cryptographically form of verifiable truth that allows systems to function correctly. And even some of the previous talks you've heard today and yesterday, the, the very specific problem that, that they were trying to address was defining and identifying what was true about an actor like a node or about you know, any other thing such as a piece of data. What we do at uh, Chainlink and the, the body of work that we're involved in is creating cryptographic truth around a multitude of topics that enable entirely new industries to come to life, such as DeFi. Um, the first category where we've generated the largest amount of cryptographic truth is basically market data, which gave rise to DeFi and led it to grow to over 200 billion. Then we moved on to compute and other, other categories. Generally speaking, the way I view what uh, we do with oracles and what oracles are more and more is as truth infrastructure. And once again, in deterministic systems that need inputs and that need things proven to them, there needs to be a truth infrastructure to allow them to interact with the world in an accurate and reliable way. At this point, we've put the largest amount of data on chain ever, um, once again resulting in the rise of DeFi on multiple chains. Um, right now, this data is being put on approximately you know, 14 to 16 different chains and environments with more and more um, on the way. The Chainlink system has also um, been widely used. So in addition to putting the data on, it gets re regularly used by various different um, categories of applications from gaming to DeFi to others. And once again, these applications can't work without cryptographically guaranteed truth, largely in this case based on market data, but expanding to many, many other categories. The category that we expanded to next was random number generation. And in many chains, we've become, uh, the Chainlink network has become the most widely used source of randomness um, as a source of truth about you know, a random event or that something is actually random. The ability to scale all of this data, all of these uh, randomness requests, all of these compute functions and soon cross-chain communications is based on us being able to make over a thousand um, simultaneously running production committees. So when you hear people talking about making side chains or so shards or subnets, or parachains or any other category of scalability, that is basically making smaller committees that execute specific application um, code or specific application block space. And I'm very proud to say that we have been able to generate and run simultaneously and are now running simultaneously over a thousand of these committees about various categories of uh, cryptographically verifiable truth, enabling you know, hundreds of billions of dollars in, in value. Um, the body of work that, that we're engaged in is really around inventing new cryptographic protocols that generate this uh, cryptographically verified truth for more and more categories of truth, whether that's random number generation, data, cross-chain communication, proving the reputation of a node, or any other category where a very specific thing needs to be true in order for a system or an application to exist. We then provide and have an also invented the Oracle network environment, which can really be viewed as a general purpose, trust minimized computing environment that does all the trust minimized computation that needs to be reliable, but which a blockchain cannot do. And while that starts with data, it then expands to compute like randomness and then to bridges and then to many other categories of compute because it's all really the same thing. It's trust-minimized computation. And then our fundamental goal is to allow other people to build all of these protocols in this trust-minimized compute environment and to build the largest community of people building these uh, trust-minimized computations that enable other applications working on blockchains. So injecting very specific cryptographically guaranteed truth 
about a cross-chain transfer or a piece of market data or a random number generation event or even a, a specific user-defined computation. So this is the body of work that we're engaged in. Um, we invite you to come work with us. We have a table uh, out back to discuss with researchers and other people. We have a uh, huge investment in research and development in our team. And frankly, both the Oracle network environment that we invented and the data aggregation methods that power DeFi and the random number generation system that now powers the majority of blockchain gaming on many chains was all invented by us, by our research group, um, led by Ari Jules as our chief research scientist and Dahlia Malki as our chief research officer. So if you have interest in working on a general purpose, trust minimized computation environment that solves all these problems and injects um, cryptographically guaranteed truth into the world, then um, you're very welcome to speak with me at the conference. You're very welcome to, to speak with the people uh, out back at the table. And if you make an application that needs a very specific trust minimized computation, then I encourage you to look into this as a solution because it's what has allowed DeFi to grow to where it is and it can probably solve your problem as well. So thank you very much. Thank you.